Okay, here we're going to look at finding the coordinates of vertices of polygons. In this example, we're given a parallelogram that's important to make note of. Parallelogram RSTU, shown below. We want to give the coordinates of T. So, we've got to figure out what coordinates those are. And notice that we have some variables in place of some of the coordinates. So it's not all just going to be numbers. R is 0, 0, so it's starting at the origin. Keep in mind, it's important to remember, opposite sides of a parallelogram are parallel. And since RU is horizontal, you notice RU is horizontal because we see that the Y value at R and the Y value at U are both 0. So that indicates that RU is parallel to the x-axis, or in other words, horizontal. And that means ST is also horizontal. So that means that the y-coordinate of T and S must be the same. Okay, so that's, that's important to note. So the y-coordinate of T and S are the same. Well, what, are, what is that y-coordinate? That y-coordinate of s is k, so therefore the y-coordinate of s has to be k also. So therefore, the y-coordinate of t is k. It's the variable k. All right, so we're halfway to our answer. We know that in our final answer, we're going to put k there. Now we just got to figure out what goes in the x-coordinate. Let's look at another page here. So what we want to do is we want to figure out what the x-value is, because we know the y-value. Now we got to figure out that x-value. So what do we know? We know that this distance from R to U is a distance N, because the X value starts at 0 and goes to N. So that means that this distance RU is, t is N units. So that means that ST is also N, right? Because those are this is a parallelogram. So they're not only parallel, but they're also congruent. So we know that this distance is n. So if we do some dotted lines here. Now, the x-coordinate is has to include this distance. What is that distance? Well, we notice that the x value here is j. So that distance is j. So what can we conclude from that? The entire x distance to, to t is going to be j plus n. So that means our x coordinate is going to be j plus n. And we know from our previous screen, the y coordinate is k. So our final answer is J plus N comma K. Okay.